And there you have it, the closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange, ending the first day of trading following the holiday weekend. The Dow Jones was down most of the day, and it is closing sharply down at about 220 points. That's right. Take a look. Uh, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ kind of ping-ponged mm -hmm. throughout the day, both of them closing down around 4%. Kitu Sharma joins us now for more on this. She's the founder and uh, investment manager of Alpha's Future LLC. Uh, thanks for chatting with us today. What are some of the main drivers of the market? I know Tanya and I have been reporting all day on the, the White House meeting um, with the Fed chair. What, what do you make of, what's, of these numbers and what's behind them? Well, um, like you said, Errol, the market really did a ping pong today, and it looked like we could uh, end the month on a slight gain, but uh, it's mostly flat in the month now uh, with quite a bit of volatility uh, as investors were concerned about inflation, Fed rate hikes, where is uh, economic growth going and you know how, how to position in this environment. Um, I think some of these, uh, even though we had a lot of volatility, the fact that the market's ending flat during the month mostly, it just goes on to show that, uh, you know, while we have this headwind of inflation and higher interest rates, at the end of the day, the U.S. economy continues to be strong. We have, uh, we're seeing improved consumer confidence. We're seeing high consumer spending, and also the unemployment remain, rate remains pretty um, pretty low. So um, at the end of the day, I think the U.S. economy is continuing to hold up and, uh, and, may, uh, and this expansion may continue longer. That news of the economy fundamentally being strong seems to get lost in the headlines mm -hmm. over inflation. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Biden's, uh, President Biden's meeting with Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. The president vowed he will not meddle in interest rate policy as the Fed works to lower inflation levels. So what is your reaction to that? How do you think investors are going to feel moving forward about the Fed's movements? So I think the Fed definitely um, needs to tame inflation. And the Fed has made it very clear that they, are, um, they themselves see that they are behind the curve. And uh, as long as the even if the growth slows, but it continues to stay in positive ter territory, I think the Fed will uh, stay on its uh, rate rise uh, path as well as uh, balance sheet reduction. Uh, we do. I mean, it is important to note that we still haven't seen a you know penny of reduction in the balance sheet so far, despite all the narrative around that. So. Mm -hmm. As a, at a point in time, we are still in a very, very liquid environment, and uh, how that uh, you know how that uh, once Fed starts reducing the balance sheet, then we may see a bit more volatility in the market. Uh, but you know, the recent core inflation data was you know slightly lower than uh, in April as compared to March, so maybe there is some kind of stabilization, and if the economy holds up in that. Uh, in that case, then uh, it will give Fed some more breathing room and some more breathing space. Well, that's a highlight. Perhaps inf inflation is flowing. Maybe May was just a bit of a wake-up call for yeah. Wall Street, a sobering, if you will. We know a lot of um, Silicon Valley tech companies have had layoffs as their uh, market values have shrunk. So what should we expect for June, historically speaking, and, and based on what we're seeing now? Well, it depends a lot on you know so many factors like the ongoing war, uh, COVID lockdowns in China, and uh, and of course we also saw uh, with the GDP data in inventory levels being low. So uh, you know that can uh, all of these factors will drive inflation in the near term. Uh, but more generally, what we what we expect is that uh, even if the economy slows. Uh, as long as the uh, inflation remains, uh, you know, in some kind of a stable form, we want to see some kind of normalization in Fed rates uh, because we've lived through a very, very liquid environment with, you know, zero uh, interest rate policy. And that has, uh, of course, driven valuation, especially in, uh, you know, some really hyper growth tech stocks where we're seeing some of those excesses now come off. So uh, from an investment standpoint, uh, we are avoiding uh, investing in those companies where valuations are not justified if we see uh, higher rates. 
uh, yet at the same time focusing on companies where cash flows are more certain uh, despite a little bit of uh, volatile economic or inflation environment. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Geetu Sharma, founder and investment manager of Alpha's Future LLC, thank you so much for your insight on this. I think it's an especially important point to note that the economy is still chugging along That's quite right. with, you know, quite robustly, even as, you know, these headwinds of inflation do sort of threaten that. Um, thank you again for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.